All right, you guys, taking a look at replacing a furnace. Um, Kirkwood heating and cooling was out, found a crack in the heat exchanger. Uh, we're looking at replacing only the furnace. The uh, AC is like two years old. Homeowner knew that going in when she bought the house four years ago and has, um, has replaced that already. So we got two inch um, piping here coming up into three. Um, three inch coming back all the way down into here. <clears throat> drain runs over, meets up with the uh, drain for the furnace and humidifier. Yeah, let's see if that comes around too. It's the floor drain. Uh, the gas piping got a shut off here. Union we come into that. A return drop is 10 by 24 and a half by 83 to the floor and we got an eight inch spacer so maybe we can make up that difference with the canvas connector or come right off this edge because uh, i think coil will remain right where it is so furnace isn't going to move at all and our filter is only seven inches so um we gotta look at either scooting that over or uh, making up the difference and then um older humidifier not sure if this works just yet. I'm gonna talk with the homeowner about that. Duck work, supply is going both ways and return is going both ways. Uh, this is the garage, so we do have a walkout. The breaker panel is right here. We're on a 15 amp furnace, uh, 15 amp breaker for the furnace. Cutler hammer panel, just wanna identify that, make sure that's correct. Uh, there's our flue piping for the water heater. And then our PVC runs up and runs out through the side of the home, our back of the home. Uh, I'll take a look at that piping, that termination, make sure that's done right. Um, not really seeing any issues of why that would have a crack in the heat exchanger only after 10 years, other than the previous homeowners didn't maintain anything, would be my guess. Steps are over in that, right over here. 